Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back with one of the most historic Manchester United unboxings we have ever had on this channel. Honestly, some of the things are about to blow your mind. So before we get started in today's unboxing, I want you guys to go down below and smash that like button. We are on the road to 3.5 thousand subscribers we are 107 of you guys away from that huge milestone can we keep pushing can we keep grinding that is up to you and of course if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button because it massively helps the video be shared out helps build our community and helps us grinding so josh what are we unboxing today so obviously i work in a care room as you guys know and i'm going to work today doing my bit it's got about half a through there someone comes up to me like Oh yeah, Josh lad, one of the residents has got their family to bring a little surprise in for you. And I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on here? And they got me this. Now, at first, I was obviously really grateful, but I was sitting there like, oh, okay, that's quite cool. It's one of those like encyclopedias about Man United. That's quite cool. Um, I can put that on the bookshelf, whatever. And then I went through it. And some of the things in here are absolutely crazy so without any further ado smash that like button subscribe if you're new grab a brew take a sip mm, that's hot and let's take a trip down memory lane right lads so some of the things that are in here are actually stuck into the book so i'll have to like get it up and zoom into but some of you i'll put you back on the little stand and i'll show you proper up close what it is so first up we have got the magnal years back in the day and now listen obviously that is not the official complimentary dinner invitation type of thing, but is an exact photocopy of what it would have looked like, what it would have been like, and every little detail on there. That is so, so cool. If you do want to read any of the writing on these little things, you're more than welcome to pause the video and take a little uh, break. But this first page, cold. But it gets better. Now, next up is where it gets proper, proper funky. So this is an exact copy of an, an agreement of a transfer back in 1912. Now, like I have said already, this is obviously not the exact copy. Don't be daft. But it's an exact photocopy of what it would have been like if I can get this open, which is cold, cold, cold. And again, if you do want to read everything, just pause. Oh, my God, I can't, I can't get it open. <laughs> if you do want to read everything, you're more than welcome to take a screenshot. But that's just a bit cold. Right, next up, we've got a proper cool bit of history. All the way back from 1912. A player agreement, a contract for a player. I'm actually not sure what player is in there. But if you guys did want to read that, you are more than welcome. That is so, so cold. As you can see, an agreement to hire a player. Bro, that is so, so cold. Honestly, wow, that's history. Again, if you want to take a screenshot and try to read that. You're more than welcome. Next up, we jump a forward to the 1934-1935 season. These right here are the training rules back in the day and player instructions as well as the league team fixtures. Stuff like that is so, so cool. Again, if you do want to read this page, more than welcome to pause it and try take a screenshot. Apologies if I don't show the whole thing. I'm trying my best. But, you know, that is cold. Here at Busby's era. And as you can see, Old Trafford took a couple of hits during the war, boys. It was not good. The Busby Babes were just getting started out and it started in absolute chaos. However, some of you guys will not know this. All the way back in the day, I want to say 1941, that type of era, Manchester City actually lent us their stadium, Main Road at the time, and we loaned it to play in it for the season. And that right there is a copy of the certificate for the prices we'd have to pay for everything about it boys manchester united played at main road for there you go loan off the ground season 1991 to 1992 whilst old trafford was getting rebuilt during the world war bombings bro that is so so cold and listen even manchester city has to take a rare dub now and then busby babes are born there those young lads are with matt busby there of course now what we have got here is the first division of fixtures. Look at some of these and results. Chelsea, we drew 1-1. Liverpool, we drew 4-4 back in the day. Jesus Christ, boys. Look at some of those scores. It is absolutely mental. What's on the last page? Uh, some more scores at the side. And some player instructions. Again, wait, let me try to show you this in a proper so you can read it if you decide to. But look at that. So they are some of the rules and players for the, uh, well, players of the club. 
Let me try to get the next page out. Bear with, boys. Bear with. These are so cool, but so freaking fiddly. Uh, here we go. Right, there we are. Again, another two pages of the player rules. If you do want to read them, you're more than welcome. Right then, boys. There they are. The gorgeous babes. The Busby babes. What an image that is. Some of the greatest young talents the world never saw. Now, we have got here an agreement for a player. But if you read along a little bit, this is a copy of Duncan Edwards' agreement. Wow, 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 wow. Again, you can read through these if you so wish. This is so, so cool. Does it say the price that we was actually offering him in there? Let me see, actually. Let me see. What's on the next page? Let's see. Does it say the price we was paying? There we go. First, uh, £12. £12 per week. £12 per week we were paying him back in the day. That is absolutely crazy. Of course... The horrendous Munich air disaster. There is a copy of a telegraph that was sent letting everyone know that all flights were cancelled uh, on the tomorrow at this time, obviously. <sighs> it's such a, such a shame, man. How good could this team have been? Now, boys, this right here that you are seeing is what, obviously not the original United review, the original match review, of course. But if it was... Do you have an idea how rare that review is? And I'll tell you why. Because this is the review we brought out just after the game back from the Munich crash. Now, obviously, this is not the original. It is a photocopy of a modernised version. Mate. And I'm... Uh, do you know how much I would die to get this kit, uh, this uh, review, reaction, review even? Sorry, bear with me, boys. This is the one where we didn't know who was playing. So if you can see there, Manchester United did not have any players down in their review. Now, listen, if I could ever get my hands on the original, the actual United review from all the way back then, mate, I am milking that for the rest of my existence. But that right there is a cool example of how it would actually look of course you can see some pictures there of the team back on the pitch or some of them of course including sir bobby charlton just there mate it's, it's heartbreaking jimmy murphy got us to an fa cup final that year we lost to bolton but imagine and then it happened Sir Matt Busby, led by some of the legends of the game, like Sir Bobby Charlton, finally won the Champions League or the European Cup back at the time. And this right here is what a ticket would have looked like um, on that wonderful night. £3 there. That is absolutely crazy. Jesus Christ, boys, imagine. Imagine paying £3 for that cup final all the way back in 1968. That is so, so sick. George Best Rogue, of course, going back into the Holy Trinity. We've got a little George Best. I'm not sure what this is. George Best, his coat. I don't actually know what it is, but it's, it's, it's a kind of cool. <laughs> Sticking on the subject of George Best, this is the agreement of signing one George Best. Absolutely crazy. The signature of the player, obviously not the real George Best signature. Otherwise, I'd not be showing you this. I'd be hiding this away in a deep dark corner and getting all gassed about it. But that is cool. That is wicked. Next up, boys, we have got some match attack type things, I believe, including one, Lou Macari. Boys, if you know, it, then you know. Lou Macari, what a guy. We've got a postcard from Argentina, 78, of course. That is kind of cool, actually. Regret this trip, not as enjoyable as one to Mallorca. Not so expensive with regards to Mr. T, Martin Buckham. Absolutely cool. But, of course, this year was Manchester United's 100th year as a club. So we're going to read this poem for you. Uh, Manchester United's centenary year poem. Ineradicably etched in the golden rock of memory many's caves. A name stands out without any doubt since the fate of the Busby babes. Manchester United of colours, red, and a name that our oh, uh, this world have speak like a flame of fire with prey to notch. A place in history, no club can match from the lush green sod of trafford to the blue bent of brazil there's no greater sight than the reds in flight dazzling teams with speed and skill on foreign soil when tempers boil to retard united's fame those lads play ball not just to win for the winner is the game the red rosette with black and white is an emblem worn with pride on each throbbing breast of fan or guest as they follow this great side. From Busby babes to Sexton's braves, 
great players have joined the fray. Though they cross the line with the hand of time, United's here to stay. On Wembley's field, they had to yield to Bolton long ago. To Southampton Sounds, they lost that ground, but Liverpool had to go. Five times the cup they have chalked up and Real Madrid were tumbled. Not much remains on Europeans' planes that United haven't humbled. They've topped the list of the league seven times and seldom were demoted. They're, though they drop while they come back in style as the critics cringe deep-throated. When they play at home, few Mancunians roam to other fields of battle. They are all crowd here, the Reds to cheer with chorus, drum and rattle. The crescendo at the Stretford end as United crashes through makes one forget as they burst their net. All thoughts of fearing blue. With fans so grand in the great land from hurricanes to sand to land end, this team may quake when pride's at stake, but each loss is a transcendent bend. In the years ahead, we will see red should our sons in faith neglect those football peers of 100 years with garlands now beckrolled. Also, can we deep this? A Manchester United season ticket for £29. Holy shit. <laughs> this is another pretty cool one here. Another cup final back at Wembley, or the Empire Wembley, I guess it was called there. A ticket for £11 in the final. That is so, so cool. I love these little ticket things because these are what the tickets look like. Obviously, a little bit missing off them, but that is wicked. Now this right here is a referee's report from an FA Challenge Cup all the way back in 1985 where this ref is claiming that Kevin Moran of Manchester United was sent off in the 78th minute. Now listen, if you want to read all that once again, you're more than welcome. But that is so, so cool. Holy shit, holy shit. So, Johan Cruyff's versus Alex Ferguson, Manchester United versus Barcelona, the 1991 European Cup Winners' Cup that Manchester United won. Wow, 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 wow. This game. I don't remember this. Obviously, this was a little bit before me back in 91, but you hear about this game so much, and this looks like it's one of the most historic games in Ferguson's early years. You're looking through this bloody United team. You see some legends. You see some players who went on to be some of the greatest of all time, even for Barcelona. It is absolutely crazy. And boys, just to check, everyone is still watching the video. I want you guys to comment the name down below. Steve Bruce. If you comment the name Steve Bruce, I'll be giving you a £5 PSN or Xbox voucher to redeem later on. Steve Bruce in the comments. Oh, it gets bigger and better than 1994 FA Cup final where Manchester United completed our first, his first historic uh, double of league and cup. Chelsea versus Manchester United. Look at some of the players on this pitch. Look at United side. Schmeichel, Parker, Bruce, Pallister, Irwin. You've got Kanselskis. What a player, by the way. Paul Lintz, Roy Keane, Giggs, Cantona, Hughes, Sharp, Brian McClare, Gary Walsh on the bench. Holy shit! <laughs> Even looking on the Chelsea side of things, you got some massive players from back in the day. The likes of Dennis Wise, Glenn Hoddle. What a team they had back then. Of course, United came out on top though. Fans of this great historic man, we got a little mini poster. Eric the King. Well, not a poster, but you know what I mean. How cool is that? Eric the King. That is absolutely wicked. Next time, next time at Old Trafford, that's getting held up. I'm telling you now. Oh shit, 1999, the historic treble. That is the Juventus in the semi-final. Roy Keane's greatest ever appearance. The hairy chest Giggsy going past Arsenal at Villa Park. This right here is the match ticket. 20, well, 20 pounds inside Villa Park. The FA Cup semi-final replay. United away to Arsenal. Holy shit. Schmeichel saved a penalty that day. And of course, this man stepped up to the plate. Well, it doesn't end there. When you think about 1999, you think about this match right here. Manchester United 2, Bayern München 1. This is the official match report. Going through all the goals, of course. Basler getting the goal early on. Half-time, the substitutions, and right back here at the bottom, old Teddy and Ollie making absolute history. That right there, some of the teams on display there. Look at those teams. That 
one of the greatest ever teams. You didn't even have the likes of Roy Keane and Skulls in there due to suspension. You look at the Bayern team as well, some legends of the game. Kahn, Lofa Matthias, Effenberg. Mate, there are some big, big players. And that is so, so cool. And now to end it, boys, we go into a new millennium. We're still winning titles, but... It is not the 90s no more. We have got competition. The Arsenals, the Chelsea's, they are all coming up in the early noughties. Even Liverpool making some late surges, more particularly in Europe. But Man United change. We have to change our ways. No more of the York and Cole. No more of the Sh Teddy showing. And we get in a big Dutchman. We get in Rude Van Nistelrooy. And look at that. A signed photo of Rude Van Nistelrooy. Do you know how cold that is? Listen, a new era blossomed, and right now, a new era is still blossoming in real time. Eric Tenaga has got the Reds going. How far can he get us? But that is it for me, boys, as I sit below these absolute legends of the game after a little trip down memory lane. Listen, I know they're not all authentic copies, as in, like, they're all, like, photocopied or copies of the original, but that is so, so cool, honestly, for a massive football nerd like me having these there just to it just makes you realize how far we've come as a club for the lows the highs the babes to the boys now it is absolutely mental and that's it for me and the boys take care massive massive value happy april road to 3.5k by the end of april i'll see you next time boys take care and peace